Let's walk out in the swamp, see what's in the swamp this morning. There's yeah. a real nice light. Yeah. Reflecting off the mud. Swamp is alive. One of my favorites. Let's zoom out a little bit. There it is. Oh, what a beautiful sight. The main trunk has got the sun on it. That's the main trunk. It's a big tree. Big tree. Yep. That's the tree. And it goes down to the ground. Up by the swamp. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey. Yeah, it's me and the tree. You know me, I walk the edge. Mm -hmm. That's what I do. It's called the echo tone. Orchids aren't blooming too well. Here's an orchid. Orchids aren't really blooming that well right now. They're getting started. We'll see. Great year for spiders. Hi, Spiden. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. You know me, I spend time on little things. Aldo Leopold, who wrote a book called The Sand County Almanac. Yeah, Aldo Leopold. He walked out in the woods every day and recorded what he saw in his book. A Sand County Almanac. This little bog area is one of my favorites. Sometimes it's wet, sometimes it's dry, but it's always got nice light because of this little grass. Frog fur. Um, hat pin. Hat pins are getting older now. What do you say, hat pins? That's what I call. Run into the craziest things. <laughs> it's a piece of lichen. <laughs> it's a piece of lichen on a spider web. <laughs> Ooh, it's a UFO alien from outer space. <laughs> and her little man. Ain't he cute? Guess what, dude? You ain't long for this world. That's the way it works in the spider world. Spider world, little dude. Hang in there, buddy. Isn't that pretty? These uh, cypress knees that grow ferns on them. There's some more over here that are real pretty. But I like this kind of fern too. Look at that, isn't it? Let me try to center it in a composition. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I find little things like this fascinating. I think I'm just odd, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Dear Poop. Tick check. Looks like this one fell. And you never know what you're going to find in the swamp. Big tree falls, yeah, yeah, it was hollow. And other things happen too. I don't know if I should show you this. But there it is. Maybe just a quick look. Yeah, he just died. He just died not too long ago. I don't know what it was. Circle of life, kids. That's the way it works. I don't know if I should have showed that, but I did. 
thought the water might be low enough where I could get across the creek here. Okay, Bruce. Y'all want to watch this? <laughs> Will he fall in the water or not? No. No. This is not easy, folks, but I got it. <laughs> I made it. Oh boy. Now I'm on the other side. This is where the swamp has dried up. It's really cool. Yes, someone drained the swamp. <laughs> here we go. Well, there shouldn't be many ticks out here. You would think. Sphagnum. Sphagnum. I'll go around it because I love the mosses. Yeah. I'll go around. Here we go. Beautiful. Beautiful in the morning. Beautiful in the morning. Now, don't get it twisted. I like walking in the water, too. <laughs> but when it's dry, you see things that you don't normally see. There's a couple of these assemblages of cypress knees that I have tried to capture with my camera and thus far have not been capable of really portraying their beauty. Here's another one. Still cruising. I know Mr. Raccoon's trying to get him some fish laying in the mud. Yeah. Mr. Raccoon ain't no dummy. But it's so verdant. All the grasses and ferns and mosses and Okay, here's where I thought was that deepest hole. Oh, hello, little snake. There you are, little black snake. I'll go around. It's okay. I'll go the other way. <laughs> Let's go around a little bit. Sorry, little feller. I'm going to leave you alone. Stay right there. Hello, any little fairies or gnomes home? Any sprites? Any wood nymphs? Anybody home? Gnomes? Elves? Wood fairies? No? Nobody there? Okay. All dried up. Here's another pond over here. Pretty sure that it won't be all dry. Well, I can already see the dragonflies fighting, fighting over it. Yeah, the dragonflies want it. They want it. I think they want to lay their eggs in the deepest part of the swamp so that their waterborne nymph larvae last and survive in the water. Because dragonflies spend most of their lifetime their life cycle in water. As they say, in water quality, it's all about the benthics.
owl. He's a big one. He's way up there. Yes, I'm at it again with my anthropomorphic ideas about cypress knees. But this cypress knee sure does seem happy. Well, I'm not in the swamp. I'm walking the edge of the swamp. Yeah. Here's the edge of the swamp. It's flowing. And... Here's the upland, right there. Yeah, that's a nice tree, isn't it? Big. It's a big one. Yeah, it's up over my head, in fact, from here. They built a new bridge. Here's the creek. It's rounded, but not well. Yeah. Here's upstream on the creek. Where'd the dragonflies? Yeah, going back in. Back in the swamp. Okay, so I'm back out at the lake now, but I wanted to show you the Meadow Beauties this year. The Rexia, they call it. Look at the spark. I don't know if you can see the sparkles of the dew that's still on the grass. It's still early Thursday morning. Yeah, sparkles of dew still on the grass. Indian Lake. My little spot on the earth. Sunset right there. Nice. Kites are here. Love to skim the water. <laughs> 